with the introduction. We have a beautiful message here. And I am going to dispense by the grace of God. I pray that you may give you ear, your ears. Give me your ears. Give me just like an hour. Just an hour. And we shall be through with this. And I believe in my heart. That by the time we are through with this message Your life will change forever Because We are here to transform lives We have a kingdom to attain Hallelujah, Hallelujah. There is a heaven where we want to go. Kuna binguni ambapo tunataka kwenda. And we are going to go to that heaven. Na tunaenda kwenda hapo binguni. By walking in a specific way. Kwa kupitia kutembea katika njia maalum. There is a way. Kunayo njia. That leads people to heaven. Inayowelekeza watu binguni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we are gathered here today. Na kwa hivyo tumekusanyika hapa leo. In my tatu altar. Hapa katika madhabahu ya mairi tatu. In this minute of the Lord. And we are here to prepare for the coming Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am beginning from the book of Gen- uh, the book of Revelation. And we are not reading. That one we are not reading. It is the book of Revelation chapter number 14. Beginning verse number 6. Kuanzia mustari wa sita. At the pastor's conference. Katika kongamano la wachungaji. After menengai. Baada ya menengai. The two mightiest mightiest prophets of Jehovah Yahweh. Manabi wa kuwa kuwa wilu wa Jehovah Yahweh. They came to teach the church. Walikuja kulifundisha kanisa. And they told us. Na wakatuambia. That they have seen a pulpit being removed. Ya kwamba wameona mambali ya kiondolewa. A grass pulpit being removed. Lile mambali la grass likiondolewa. And and a wooden pulpit being installed. Na mambali ambao yakiwekwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, no, akasema, that this ear ya kwamba mwaka huu is an ear for doing correction. Ni mwaka wa kufanya marekebisho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the new pulpit comes, wakati mambali mapya yanakuja, it came that we may dispense a different message. Yalikuja ili tuweze kuhubiri ujumbe tofauti. And mark you it is wooden. Na nukuu ni ya mbao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Representing the old rugged cross. Ikiwa kirisha msalaba uliochaka. So basically, kwa hivyo kimsingi, it instructs us as a church. Inatuelekeza kama kanisa. That we may return to the old rugged cross. Ya kwamba turuje msalaba ule mzee na uliochaka. That has been stained by blood. Ambao umepakwa damu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are going to make correction. Kwa hivyo tunaenda kufanya marekebisho. And as we that correction na tunapofanya hayo marekebisho we are going back to the cross of jesus tunarudia msalaba wa yesu hallelujah hallelujah how many are ready to return to the old rugged cross jendu wangapi wako tayari kurudia msalaba wa zetu because mzee. that is the bridge to the eternal kingdom of god kwa sababu hiyo inawakilisha ufalme wa milele wa mungu revelation 14 beginning verse 6 ufunuo 14 kuanzia mstari wa 6 hiki ndicho biblia inasema then i saw another angel basi nikamwona malaika mwingine he was flying mid air alikuwa kipa katikati anga he was proclaiming a message in a very loud voice alikuwa kitangaza ujumbe kwa sauti kuu sana he was saying alikuwa kisema mcheni mungu mcheni mungu and worship him na mumwabudu yeye because his hour of judgment has come kwa sababu usaya hukumu imefika that worship him na mumwabudu the, the creator of the heavens and the earth mumbo wa bingu na dunia the creator of all things mumbo wa vitu vyote so that is where i am beginning from kwa hivyo hapo ndipo ninapoanzia hallelujah hallelujah so a new pulpit is has been installed kwa hivyo mambali mapya yamerejeshwa so a new way of dispensing a, the message of the lord has come in place kuashiria kwamba wakati wa ku to ujumbe mpya wa Bwana umefika. A new pulpit. Mambali mapya. They are speaking of a new message. Inanena kuhusiana na ujumbe mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in that new message
message na katika ujumbe huo mpya an angel comes preaching mid air malaika anakuja akihubiri katika tia anga he was preaching to a rebellious generation alikuwa akihubiria kizazi kiasi hallelujah hallelujah he was telling them alikuwa akiwaambia oh fear god e, mcheni mungu i don't know sijui whether this is that generation wenda hiki ndicho hicho kizazi a rebellious generation kizazi chenye uasi but by the time we are done here na wakati tutakapomaliza hapa we will have known the truth tutakuwa tumeujua ukweli tutawachanisha mbivu na mbi tutaachanisha mbivu na mbichi hallelujah hallelujah he was preaching to a rebellious generation alikuwa akikihubilia kizazi chenye uasi and they never got saved na hawakuokoka but he was telling them lakini alikuwa akiwaambia that the gospel of jesus christ ya kwamba injili ya yesu kristo it is about the fear of god inahusiana na hofu ya mungu it is about inahusiana the worship of jehovah na ibada ya yehova it is about inahusiana na a god who judges sin mungu anayehukumu dhambi it is about ni kuhusiana na worshiping the everlasting god kumwabudu mungu wa milele worshiping the creator kumwabudu muumba Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to take the fear of God. Kwa hivyo ningependa kuchukua hofu ya Bwana. That will be segment that I want to handle. Hiyo ndio ujumbe ambao ningependa kushughulikia. He said fear God. Anasema mcheni Mungu. His judgment is coming. Hukumu yake inakuja. Worship him. Muabuduni yeye. But I I am putting out fear God. Lakini ninachukua kuhofu Mungu. And that is the title of my message today. Na hiyo ndio mada ya ujumbe wangu siku ya leo. So you can write the fear of God. Kwa hivyo unaweza andika hofu ya Bwana. That is what we shall handle. Hiyo ndio tutashughulikia. In a few minutes time. Katika dakika chache zijazo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the fear of God that I want to speak about. Kwa hivyo kumcha Mungu ambapo ningependa kuzungumzia. It is that fear, ni hiyo hofu that a child fears his father. Ambayo mtoto humogopa nayo baba yake. That kind of an example. Hiyo aina ya mfano. A child, mtoto will not hear his father hatamsikia baba yake hatamhofu baba yake hatamhofu baba yake because his father is going to kill him kwa sababu baba yake atamuua but he will fear his father lakini atamuogopa baba yake he will fear his father atamuogopa baba yake that he, he does not want to wrong the father hataki kumkosea baba yake let me give you an example hebu niwape mfano A father has come from work. Baba ametokea kazini. He is tired. Amechoka. He is in the house. Yuko katika nyumba. So a son, kwa hivyo mtoto, will come to towing into the house. Atakuja akichetemea aki katika nyumba. Not wanting to disturb the father. Hataki kumsumbua baba yake. Not wanting to anger the father. Hataki kumkasirisha baba yake. So he will tiptoe into the house. Kwa hivyo atanyemelea kiingia katika nyumba. And then tiptoe out. Halafu anyemelea toke nje. That his father may be at peace. Ili baba yake aweze kuwa na amani. So that is the kind of fear that I am speaking about. Hiyo ndio aina ya hofu ambayo ninanena kuihusu. That as a church. Ya kwamba kama kanisa looking forward to enter into the heaven of God. Ambalo linatazamia kuingia katika bingu ya Mungu. We need to inculcate the fear of God in our lives. Tunapaswa kuzingatia sana hofu ya Bwana katika maisha yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we may walk in fear. Ya kwamba tutembee katika hofu. Why should we fear God? Ni kwa nini tumhofu Mungu? Why? Ni kwa nini? We need to fear God. Tunapaswa kumcha Mungu because God is holy kwa sababu Mungu ni mtakatifu and we are not na sisi si watakatifu we are working on our holiness tunaofanyia kazi utakatifu wetu but the holiness of god is complete ya, lakini utakatifu wa Mungu ni kamilifu that one point only hiyo hoja peke yake it is it is a past to read you and me that we may fear that holy god inapaswa kunielekeza mimi na wetu muogope huyo Mungu how does he remain holy je anabakije kuwa mtakatifu Whereas we are trying and falling and rising and falling and rising ili hali sisi tunajaribu tunaanguka na kusimama na kuanguka na kusimama but for him lakini kwake yeye ever since creation tangia uumbaji the angels are proclaiming holy 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 Mala, 
almighty malaika wanatangaza mtakatifu mtakatifu ni bwana mungu mkuu mwenyezi they are bowing before him every other time wanasujudu mbele zake kila wakati Hori. mtakatifu Hori. mtakatifu Hori. mtakatifu from eternity from from creation to eternity kuanzia wakati wa uumbaji hadi milele God is holy. Mungu ni mtakatifu. So we ought to fear God because of his holiness. Kwa hivyo tunapaswa kumcha Mungu kwa sababu ya utakatifu wake. We need to fear God. Tunapaswa kumcha Mungu because of his tremendous love. Kwa sababu ya upendo wake mkuu. The Bible says here yeah, while we were yet sinners. Biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati tulikuwa tungali watenda dhambi. He sent his son Jesus Christ. Alimtuma mwana wake Yesu Kristo to come and pay the ransom for our sins. Aje aweze kutulipia gharama ya dhambi zetu. Though we were yet sinners ijapokuwa tulikuwa tungali wenye dhambi yet he sent jesus lakini alimtuma yesu hallelujah hallelujah i don't know what would what would have happened to you sijui ni kipi kingekutendekea wewe if you were in that position iwapo ungekuwa katika hiyo hali but the love of god always challenges me lakini upendo wa mungu kila wakati unanitia changamoto i always say kila wakati nasema that god is not like overseer njoroge ya kwamba mungu si kama mwangalizi njoroge if it were you kama ingekuwa wewe and people have crucified your son na watu wamemsurubisha mtoto wako your only son mtoto wako wa pekee what would you have done with them je ungewafanyia nini mtoto wako wa pekee mtu amesurubisha yeye ameua mzee ungefanya nini na huyo mtu ungeshughulikia yeye sawa sawa si ndio hawa wameokoka sana hao wanasema wangewacha tu kama wangekuwa kama Mungu lakini chuna mtoto waacha mtoto wake achunwe hapo kwa proti na mama mwingine anatoka bila kitambaa na anaweka breza chini si ndio mtoto wake amechu sasa mwana wa Mungu aliuawa na Mungu akapenda hao ambao walimuua wapendwa sinatakikana kuheshimu huyo Mungu sana kwa sababu hakuwafanyia mabaya aliwapenda akatuma Yesu awaripie hiyo dhambi kuna mtu ananipata aina hiyo ya upendo ambao Mungu wako nayo tunatakikana kumheshimu Mungu sana na kumuogopa huyo Mungu sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to fear God. Tunapaswa kumuogopa Mungu because he is our only hope. Kwa sababu yeye ndiye tumaini letu la pekee. We don't have hope anywhere else. Hatuna tumaini mahali pengine popote. Our hope is in God. Tumaini letu liko katika Mungu. So because of this attribute of God. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya hizi sifa za Mungu We really need to fear this God. Hakika tunapaswa kumuogopa huyu Mungu. When we came from Menengai, tulipotoka mkutano wa Menengai, I was going through my Bible. Nilikuwa nikipitia Biblia yangu, but I have heard about the fear of God. Lakini nimesikia kuhusiana na hofu ya Mungu. Then I stumbled upon a scripture. Halafu nikakumbana na andiko that really demonstrates what the fear of God is. Linaloashiria hofu ya Mungu ni nini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I am going to my read scripture. Kwa hivyo ninaenda katika andiko langu la mwongozo. The book of Genesis chapter number 22. Kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa 22. That is where we are going to read from today. Hapo ndipo tunaenda kuanzia siku ya leo. Even as we begin. Hata tunapoanza. But I am really happy. Nina furaha sana to be in my ritatu altar. Kuwa katika madhabahu ya mahali tatu. I am Lili a blessed pastor mimi ni mchungaji aliyebarikiwa sana to stand and minister the word of god to this blessed church kusimama na kuhudumu neno la mungu katika kanisa hili barikiwa sana i don't take it for granted sichukuli kwa mzaha it is a great honor ni tunu kukuu sana so i want us to look at the life of abraham kwa hivyo ningependa tutazame maisha ya abrahamu that he may be a uh, our example ili aweze kuwa mfano wetu in our pursuit of the fear of god tunapo tunapongangana kutembea katika hofu ya mungu but i want to ask a question lakini ningependa kuuliza swali in my ritatu altar katika madhabahu ya mahali tatu how many people fear god je ni watu wangapi wanaomhofu mungu i want to show i want to see by a show of hands ningependa kuona kwa ishara ya mkono Mtu mwenye ana hofu Mungu kwa hii madhabahu. Oh, so we are so many. 
Kwa hivyo tuko wengi namna hiyo. Let us give God a mighty hand clap. Hebu tumpe Mungu makofi makuu sana. Because kwa sababu it is good to have a church that fears God. Ni vyema kuwa na kanisa linaloumcha Mungu. Let us go to the word. Hebu tuende katika neno. The Bible says. Biblia inasema Genesis chapter 22 beginning verse 1. Kitabu cha mwanzo 22 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza that sometimes later God tested Abraham. Baadaye Mungu akamjaribu Abrahamu. He said to him, akamwambia, Abraham, Abrahamu, here I am, he replied. Akajibu niko hapa. When he replied, he had answered God, alipomjibu Mungu, then God continued to speak with him Mungu aliendelea kunena na yeye And there is a message right there Na kuna ujumbe pale How many times Je ni wakati ni mara ngapi Has God called you Ambayo Mungu amekuita How many times Ni mara ngapi Have God called us Ambayo Mungu ametuita sisi And we fail to answer God Na tunakosa kumjibu Mungu Hallelujah Hallelujah But Because Abraham feared God Lakini kwa sababu Abraham alimucha Mungu He called him from the where did God Mungu alimuita Abraham kutoka wapi Swali kwa kanisa Arani Aha ingine Ni hivyo tu Hallelujah hallelujah Is it not from the ul of the Chaldeans Yes ni kutoka uru ya wa Kardayo Is that not what the Bible says 12 Yes hivyo ndivyo Biblia inasema katika mwanzo 12 Nani amepotea? Ovasia amepotea. Mimi kama nimepotea nina tubu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But that is besides the point. Lakini hiyo ni kando na hoja. God calls Abraham. Mungu anamuita Abrahamu. From the ul of the Chaldeans. Kutoka uru ya Wakardayo. He tells him, anamwambia, "Come, jo, follow me. Nifuate to a land where I will show you." Kwa hichi ambayo nitakuonyesha. That always arranges me. Hiyo kila wakati inanitia changamoto. Because if God came today. Kwa hivyo kama Mungu alikuja leo. And he told you, "Come out of my ritatu." Na akakuita, "Njo, toka madhabahu ya my ritatu." The next question you would ask. Swali litakalofuata ambalo utauliza. Mungu ninaenda wapi? Mungu ninaenda wapi? But Abraham, lakini Abraham when God called him wakati Mungu alimuita he did not ask questions akuuliza maswali he followed God alimfuata Mungu he had faith in God alikuwa na imani ndani ya Mungu he knew that God is God alijua Mungu ni Mungu he knew that God can never make a mistake alijua Mungu hawezi fanya makosa haleluya so he followed him kwa hivyo alimfuata yeye without asking questions bila kuuliza maswali but for us lakini kwetu if i came and i said kama nilikuja na kusema my sister ndio dada yangu i want to go with you to elbagon ningependa kwenda nawe elbagon i see like you can minister there ninaona ya kwamba unaweza hudumu pale you tell me utaniambia overseer enda uombe tena mwangalizi nenda uombe tena hallelujah hallelujah but for abraham lakini kwa abrahamu whatever god said kile chochote ambacho mungu alisema it was a command ilikuwa ni amri god you have said that i come mungu umesema na ninakuja i am coming ninakuja you have said you are taking me somewhere unasema ya kwamba unanipata mahali nina hiari ya kwamba uniongoze hallelujah hallelujah so god began by calling abraham kwa hivyo mungu akamuita abraham alianza kwa kumuita abraham kwa jina mungu alianza kwa kumuita abraham kwa jina abraham akaitika abraham akaitika mungu akaendelea pamoja na yeye mungu akaendelea pamoja na yeye lakini many of us lakini wengi wetu we have stumbled at the calling tumejikoa katika mwito just at the calling katika mwito tu when god has prepared good things for us wakati mungu ametuandalia mambo mazuri but at the calling we stumble lakini pale katika mwito tu tunajikoa so abraham accepted the call of god kwa hivyo abraham alikubali mwito wa mungu and when he accepted na alipokubali he began to speak to him Mungu akaanza kunena naye. And he told him. Na akamwambia, Abraham, Abrahamu. Take your son. Muchukue mwana wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are only son. Mwana wako wa pekee. Isaac, Isaac. So I I want you to see. Kwa hivyo ningependa uone. How God is specific. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu ni haswa. He is telling him. Anamwambia take your son muchukue mtoto wako not any son sio mwana yeyote yule hallelujah 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 your son 
Isaac. Mtoto wako Isaac. He could have taken the other son. Angechukua mwana yule mwingine. The son by the other woman. Mtoto wa yule mwanamke mwingine. But God did, was, did not require the other son. Lakini Mungu hakuhitaji huyo mwana mwingine. He wanted this son. Alimtaka huyo mtoto. The son of promise. Mtoto wa ahadi. Abraham. Abraham. He could have pretended that he has not had well. Angejifanya kwamba jisikia vizuri. And then God came Uh, spoke the name Halafu Bwana akanena jina He said Akasema I am not asking for any other son Simuulizi mtoto mwingine yote No I am asking for your son Isaac Ninamuitisha mtoto wako Isaac The bearer of the promises Yule anayebeba ahadi Haleluya Haleluya The son that I have given you in your old age Yule mtoto ambaye nimekupa katika siku zako za uzee That is the son that I require Huyo ndiye mtoto ambaye ninamhitaji So I told him take him Kwa hivyo akamwambia mchukue And he, he also told him that the son that you love ya alimwambia pia yule mtoto unayempenda so take him kwa hivyo mchukue and go with him to the region of moria na uende naye katika nchi ya moria not for a tour sio uende kubarizi not for a meet the people tour sio kwa ajili ya kubarizi not for a picnic sio kwa ajili ya kubarizi au starehe not for an outing sio kwa ajili ya kustarehe but go told abraham lakini mungu alimwambia abrahamu take him muchukue you are only son mtoto wako peke the son that you love yule mtoto unayempenda even isaac ha yule isaac take him to mount moria mupeleke mrima moria go nenda sacrifice him there umtoe dhabihu pale in other words kwa maneno mengine god was uh, it, uh, abraham could have understood abraham angeelewa that god was uh, is telling him ya kwamba mungu anamwambia oh, take your son muchukue mtoto wako go and murder him there nenda ukamuue pale Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No we are in pursuit of the fear of God. Tunafuatilia hofu ya Bwana. Just follow me slowly. Nifuate pole pole. Slowly. Pole pole tu. There is a place that I am taking you. Kuna mahali ambapo ninawapeleka. Very slowly. Pole pole tu.